Hey there everybody, this is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Last time we defeated Saris, and now we're heading towards the navigation room. What's my mission, Commander? So Saris has been infected by the X2. Well, as a result, you recovered another ability. At this rate, you might be able to face the SAX yet. What? You really? You think so? But that's still a ways off. Aww. This is missile upgrade data. Sealed with a level 4 lock. Yeah, I suppose we can't really get to that. Hmm. That would be creepy, wouldn't it? Sector 3? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Sector 3, Pyre. I wonder if it's gonna have, you know, fire. Wouldn't that just be a blasty blast if if the section called Pyre had like fire in it? Oh, super fast elevator. So let's just continue on, shall we? Oh, we can't go through there. Oh well. Let's go down the elevator. Super fast elevator. Yay! Alright, what you got for me? Map data! Thankfully, the X have not yet invaded this area. The data room here is sealed by another security hatch. Oh, great. So yeah, you got the uh, rigmarole. Hmm. Apparently we can't hunt or handle the heat, so... Super missiles, yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Alright, so basically he said that, uh... You wanna head towards there. There are no heated areas over here, so... Uh, if you see a heated area, just get out of there, because you're going the wrong way. So I like that they tell you that, at least. That way you're not running around wasting your time for 40 minutes trying to get past a... a heated area. Can't get up there yet, I don't think. Oh, there's no X here. Sweet! Oh, hot. Yeah, so if you see the lava, your health will just start dropping like nobody's business. Huh, alright, so here's what you need to do. No, not that way. You want to go this way, sorry. Bam! How you like dem apples? Huh. Hmm. Oh well. I'm sure we'll find it later. Oh wait, there we go. Let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, I usually like to wait to get the item, or like to actually go hunting for the items until a little later, because you'll have a uh, you'll get a uh, a special little item for it later. Yeah, so you can just jump up here and bomb your way into the security room. Now we have those level 3 hatches. Level 2, my bad. Gosh! We can open the green doors now. Whereas I think in like the other games... Oh, but we let the X in. Yeah, the... I think in the other game... What the hell is that thing? As I believe... Yeah, as I keep trying to say, but I keep getting it erupted. Uh, in the other games, the yellow or the green doors can only be opened by... Power bombs, I believe, or super missiles. I can't remember. No, I think it was yellow doors for power bombs. Anyway, we unlocked the data, so let's continue on the path of righteousness. Which is this path, by the way. These guys are jerks. You just shoot a bunch of missiles into their faces. They actually have use later on. So let's hit that switch. Let's see, um. I don't know. But anyway, they have uses later on, like, uh... Because you'll get a certain ability... Later on, that'll really help. I'm trying not to spoil it! For those of you who haven't played the game yet! 
Oh, I guess we can't get through there. Ow. Fire hurts. Huh. Yeah, so we can't harm that yet, so it looks like we have to go the other way. Silly me. Give me all that. Give me all that energy. Wait a minute. You big flying jerks. Anyway, so it looks like we're going the right way. Damn X. Damn claw falls. Always trying to claw for me out of my money. Oh, that doesn't look good. That looks like some serious SAX business right there. <laughs> Sorry if you hear me with the sniffles again. It seems like I have them every day now. And we get a missile tank for our troubles. Yeah, no, so we can hop up in here. Hop up in there. Hop up over here. No, and not fall through. Damn. Damn it. Note to self, don't do that in the future. Alright, so let's come out this way and go to the data room. Curse you, stupid bug things. Yeah, I've never really cared for the enemies in Metroid. They all seem really stupid. Like these things. What the hell are those things? I liked it in Metroid uh, Prime, yeah, for the GameCube, because in those games you can, like check their biological data and all that business. I thought that was pretty cool. Super missile data. Unlike the other Metroid games, your missile, or when you get super missiles, they don't, uh, they're not a separate entity. They're the same missiles. So it's not like you have to manage your regular missiles. As well as your super missiles, so we can't get up there yet. Huh. Whatever that was, it didn't sound good. Can't go that way. Anyway, we want to go back here. For boss time. This boss is hard as hell. Not even gonna lie, not even gonna try, because this boss is just hard as hell. And like, once he does that, you can't do anything. Bit oh my god, he does so much damage, it's retarded. And my controller's being weird, and it's not letting me jump right. my knowledge, you can't get rid of that, so you just have to kind of avoid it. See, like, that was really close. Super missiles do a lot to this guy, but he is still such a pain. Leave me alone. Basically, have to outrun his little fire blast. He's like a Charizard. Like a Charizard. And once you do enough damage to him, he'll run away like a bitch. What's wrong, baby? I miss you. Ow. Ow. That would be hilarious if that, like, killed you in one hit. <laughs> Just, like, crushed Samus. I mean, it'd be messed up. Don't get me wrong but it'd be hilarious. Oh, damn. Yeah, remember, your charge beam is stronger... Oh, wait, it's not stronger than your super missiles. What am I saying? Never mind. Don't listen to me. I'm crazy. I'm gonna die before I even get back to the freaking save room. Where are we, how are we doing on time? We got about... You jerk face. All right. Yeah, always gotta be quick on the draw here. And there is a power up right here. 
Oh, come on. That is, as the French say, I don't know, because they don't speak French. Because it's a dumb language. Yeah, but you have to, like, power bomb your way up here. Oh, wait. For another energy tank. Yeah! Energy tanks help so much in this game. Especially since once you get them, you get, like, all your health back. Which is lovely. It's lovely like a summer's eve. So now there are SA or now the X are here, as you can clearly see. They weren't here before, now they're here. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you people want from me. That's what I like to see. Weapon energy restored. Save room. Don't mind if I do. And the navigations. See that you encountered a rogue security robot. Yeah. Sectors 5 and 6. Huh. Arc is sub-zero. Obviously we can't go there because of the cold. Hmm. Data room in the night habitat. Sector 6, knock. Which obviously is like nocturnal. Yes, it is. All right, super fast elevator. All right, what's going on here? Does Santa suspect anything? No, I don't think so. Good. Monitor her closely. Affirmative. Oh. What is... What's going on here? Something's... Something's not sitting right with me here. Anyway, another thing you can do... Let me see if I can get it on this controller. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but... That's towards 5, I believe. We want to go to 6. I don't know why I've always liked that ability where you can just, like... Start running, duck down, jump, and fly! <laughs> and unlike uh, Super Metroid, it doesn't hurt you when you do it in this game, which is a plus. Super fast elevator. Knock. You can tell it's darkness because it's purple. The color of evil. The various suit data is here from HQ, ready to download. Oh, sweet. How did they... Oh, that's not good. So yeah, part of the thing is to uh, avoid the blue X in this area because, well, they're kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, well let's save our game because I think that's going to be it for this episode and I'll join you guys back here next time on Let's Play Metroid Fusion. This has been Millennium Jester signing out. Have a nice day.